this is Dr. Brett Bingham again from Intermountain Pat Hospital and today we're going to do a little talk about artificial insemination and transcervical insemination. So we do quite a bit of reproduction here at our hospital so we get a lot of questions every day about uh, AI, artificial insemination and TCI, transcervical insemination. So I'm just going to use the acronym AI and TCI from here on out. Um, but the first question that I want to answer is what is artificial insemination and first I'll just describe it and then I will show you um, in a, in a uh, little diagram how it works. But artificial insemination is where we take semen from a male dog and place it in the vaginal vault right next to the cervix artificially. So that's artificial insemination. Uh, TCI or transcervical insemination is where we do the same process. We take semen that came from a male at some point and then that is uh, put into the uterus of a female. So the difference between AI is the semen gets um, deposited in the vaginal vault and TCI is where the semen gets placed in the uterus. So AI, vaginal vault, TCI, uterus. So your insemination success goes up with the TCI because you're putting the sperm closer to the eggs. So that's what it is. So the next question that we want to answer is why? You know, why would you do artificial insemination or TCI? Why would you do AI or TCI? And number one reason is that the male may not be available. Uh, so uh, if, or he's out of state. So if there's a male that's say in Arkansas and we have the female here, then that semen can be collected in Arkansas. So we don't have to ship the male here. We can just collect the semen, put it in a box and it's uh, extended. It, the, basically the semen is given uh, nutrition so it can live and then it's uh, in a chilled or a cool box, styrofoam box, it's shipped here and then we use that semen to do an AI or a TCI. So that's one reason is the male isn't here. The other reason why we might do it is the male might be dead uh, with frozen semen. You know, let's say uh, we, we just did a breeding on a dog with frozen semen. I guess it's been uh, two months ago now because she just had her puppies, but that's, that dog has been dead for quite a while. So we can collect male from a, uh, or collect semen from a male and freeze it. And then when there's a bitch in the future that is ready to be bred, we will thaw that semen and, and put it in the bitch. In a case like that, we would for sure do TCI instead of AI because we want to ensure our chance of pregnancy. So we put the semen straight into the uterus. So that's another reason the male might be dead. Uh, another reason we, we might do it is the female may not allow the breeding. Uh, there are some females that just will not allow a male to breed them and it's more of a behavioral thing. We don't really know why. They just they, they, they don't like that feeling of being um, uh, uh, submissive, if you will, so they, because that is a submissive posture when they get bred. So they may not like that feeling and they won't allow a male to breed. So in a case like that, we could collect the male and do the breeding. Another reason is a discrepancy in size. You know, there are some times where the male is just very big uh, and, uh, it, 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 and or too small, you know, so the male might be too big or too small and there's just such a discrepancy in size it's hard to get the breeding done. So in that case we will do an artificial insemination. And then the last reason would be if the male has had an injury. Let's say he's had a broken leg at some point, he's got some arthritis. Um, is, has a painful back and he just can't get the job done, then we can collect him uh, using the bitch as a teaser and then do an artificial insemination. So those are all the reasons why we would do it. So number one, the male's not here. Number two, male's dead. Number three, female may not allow the breeding. Four is uh, discrepancy inside and the fifth, fifth reason is that um, the male may, may have had an injury and or is old and or painful, can't get it done. So the reasons why we do it. So. First, I'm going to talk about what artificial insemination is, and to do that, I'm going to show you a little diagram. So this is a diagram of the anatomy of the bitch, of the female. The, um, I'll use a uh, pipette here to show you how it works. So this is the vaginal vault. The vaginal vault goes from out here all the way into the cervix, and it goes in. This is the uh, pelvis here. This is the symphysis bone. So it is in there quite a ways. You know, in a lab, that's a good eight to 10 inches inside. So this pipette will go all the way inside a female dog to get to the cervix. So that, that is a, um, the vaginal vault in a bitch is very, very long. So when we do an artificial insemination, we wanna deposit the semen right here at the cervix. So the way we do that is we collect the semen and then we take this pipette 
and you can see that it goes mostly straight straight up. I know a lot of people will try to do AI at home, and what they do is they try to go straight in like this. You can see that doesn't work because it goes goes into the clitoral fossa, and you're not going to get it where it needs to go. So it has to go straight up, and then once you get over the pelvis, that's when you straighten it out and then push it into the cervix. So the technique of an artificial insemination is up, straight, and in. Okay, and then you're depositing the semen right here at the opening of the cervix and that allows the semen to the sperm to basically swim or diffuse through the cervix up to the uterus that's where the eggs are waiting and that's where insemination or fertilization will happen it's actually up um, in the uterus or in the fallopian tubes so the technique for an AI is up and then straight and then in um, which is different than what most people think they think straight in but straight in doesn't work up and then you straighten it in and then go in. So that is the artificial insemination. You just deposit the semen right there at the opening of the cervix, AI. Okay, TCI, um, we use a, uh, a camera to do TCI. This is a TCI scope, um, and it's the same technique, basically. You go in with the camera, you go up, straight, and then in, so that you're, the tip of this camera is right there at the cervix. So then we can see the cervix, and then we use the camera to thread this catheter right here, which is a tiny little catheter. I don't know if you can see that. I don't want to open it because it's sterile. Um, a tiny little catheter, and we thread that, that cath this catheter through that tiny little hole in the cervix up into the uterus. So we put the semen way up here in the uterus. And what that does is it gets those sperm closer to the eggs. They don't have to swim as far, so it increases your chance of pregnancy, um, typically a higher litter size. Uh, TCI is really important if the semen quality is not that good. Uh, we, we will always do something like this with frozen semen because frozen semen, um, when you freeze semen, about half the sperm die and they don't recover. So in almost all cases, frozen semen does not have as good as quality as chilled or, or fresh semen. And in those cases, we do a TCI or transcervical insemination. So the semen gets deposited way up here in the uterus instead of back here at the cervix. So it increases your chance of pregnancy. So. Um, this is a, um, a sleeve that we use when we collect a male. So when we collect a male, we'll, we'll uh, collect the semen in this, and then we can uh, take it out with a pipette like that in a syringe, and then we go ahead and do the insemination uh, with a pipette and a syringe. Uh, so that is really what artificial insemination, AI, and TCI is. If anybody has questions, you can always Give us a call or um, send, send us a message on Facebook and we'll be sure to reply. But th that is the general synopsis of AITCI, what it is, how we do it, and why we do it. So hope that answers questions. Have an awesome day.